Hello, welcome to another video of Let's Cook with Carlo. So today we have on the barbecue, uh, we got some stir fry again. Again, um, I gotta admit the last video I made was actually about stir fry with shrimp. So this is actually kind of similar, but uh, there's some differences here. Um, got some different ingredients today. We got some veggies here. We got um, uh, cabbage, uh, onions, lettuce, uh, carrots, garlic, and we also have, what else is in there? Oh, bell pepper. So I got an orange bell pepper in there. That's a little different today. So basically, um, uh, you can either buy this uh, pre-cut or you can slice this yourself or put in a food processor to shred, but um, I just bought it in a pack because I was lazy today. So uh, you mix it up um, in a bowl and you add um, olive oil. And this time we added ses sesame seed oil uh, to add a little bit of Asian flair to it. This is stir fry after all. And I've been cooking this for about 10 minutes now. I didn't want to bore you, so I did a lot of the cooking ahead of time because uh, I know you don't want to see me. Uh, you don't want to watch uh, paint dry. That's what it's like watching cooking sometimes, but I'm going to try to make this enjoyable for you. Um, this one's almost cooked. Uh, so you know that the veggies are almost cooked when, it's, when the onions are almost translucent. Uh, you're also going to see the bell peppers kind of have a burnt um kind of caramelized uh tincture to it on the outside um it's not quite there yet so i'll just keep talking and cooking let's see here you know um so as you notice my my gas stove uh gas grill here is on low it's very important not to burn the stir fry actually it's very important not to burn anything on the grill uh so this is on low just low settings. Uh, what else? Uh, what are so you notice? I've got this this um, uh, iron um, skillet here with holes in it, so it's it's specially made for the barbecue, right? So, and what happens is when you cook this over the barbecue, it absorbs all of the seasoning from the grill. So, uh, people ask me, why don't you? clean your grill more more often well I only clean it uh, twice a year once when I pull out the barbie at the beginning of the season and once when I put it away and the reason for that is that all the flavor is in the, in the droppings of the grill so you so with regards to uh, cleaning your grill don't clean it too often because it's the seasoning uh, the taste of the grill actually comes from the drippings I know it sounds gross, but that's actually where all the flavor is. So, uh, so word of advice, just clean your grill twice a year, beginning of the season, end of the season. And for the rest of the season, while you're cooking, uh, just leave it because it'll burn off and it'll add flavor to all that you put on the grill, including this uh, stir fry dish. Okay. All right. So now you know my secret. All right, so again, this is uh, not quite cooked yet. Oh, another important uh, piece of equipment is having a nice handy apron because all this stuff gunk, the grease can actually fly all over my white shirt. So I have a handy apron, it's very handy. So uh, a nice big wooden spoon um, and a big spatula to clean it with so I don't use the iron the wired uh, brush anymore because apparently the wires from the brush can actually dislodge and it could get into your food and then it could lodge into your stomach and then you got to go to emergency room so to avoid that I got rid of my wired brush and I just clean with the spatula that's so right And you see here, this is not a very fancy grill, but you know, uh, it's it's not about the size or the price of your grill, it's how you use it, right? So it's not about the tool, it's about how you utilize your tool. So 
in cooking, it goes for the same thing. All right, so let's see where we're at. Let's see. Yep. I got some editing to do in this video because I was uh, interrupted uh, uh, during midway of this shooting. So you'll notice um, some discontinuities here. Actually, there's a missing bowl now. So that was taken away, but um, yeah. Such is the life of a content creator, right? So just gotta shoot videos when you can. All right, so you hear that sizzling. Yep. So you see um, at the beginning of this, this uh, the veggies actually were double in size. So as it cooks, um, it um, uh, reduces and it becomes uh, soggier, the veggies. So we want to get to the point where the the onions are translucent. Okay. Almost there. Be patient. Yeah, it'd be nice if I had a nice cold beer. I have it in the fridge, but I just forgot it. So um, next time I won't forget it. And I'll show you what I'm drinking. But I will have to wait. And these veggies are almost cooked. So you can tell they're cooked. The onions are almost translucent. The bell peppers have a little bit of a burn to it. So it's getting there. I'm a little obsessive about it. So I'm going to go a little more. All right. Yep. And in the summertime, I like to actually to cook outside exclusively. I hate going inside to cook. Um, in Nova Scotia, we don't have uh, air conditioning inside because it doesn't get too hot here so in the summertime I don't like cooking inside because it does get too hot as we don't have air conditioning here so all my meals in the summer are on the grill so here at the house in Halifax I cook on the grill at the cottage I cook on the grill I'm hardly inside the summer so all our meals we try to cook it on the grill well I try to cook it on the grill I'm the Grill chef here, right? So, all right. You hear that sizzling, right? Yep. All right. So now I'm gonna. That's almost cooked. So now I'm gonna add this uh, shrimp. So last time we had um, lemon and butter, but this time I changed it up. I put in soy sauce um, and a little bit of sesame seed oil uh, just to change it up. So, so I have a little bit different taste from the previous time I made this on the previous video that I showed you. So you see that? I'm going to add it. Yum, yum. So this is not gonna cook for very long. You add the shrimp when the veggies are just about done. So now I'm just gonna sear each side of the shrimp. And you know when the shrimp is done, when it has a little pink tincture to it, right? Just slight pink tincture. If you find it getting orange, then you've gone too far. Then your shrimp will be rubbery, so you want shrimp uh, just right al dente right just not not raw not not cooked but right in between al dente right just like when you cook risotto for those of you that are cooks when you cook risotto you always want to go for al dente just right not cooked not raw but just right so the same goes for this dish with the shrimp all right and as the name, oh, nice birds. And as the name implies, stir fry implies you're constantly stirring. The reason for that is you don't want any particular side to burn, so you keep stirring. Hence, stir fry. Get it? All right. And 
Yep. Yeah. Here you go, Carlo. You may ask, why aren't you, why aren't you cooking with higher temperatures? It's going so slow. I find that cooking at low temperature, maybe you might go up to medium at times, but I always cook at low, start at low. I might go to medium if it's going too slow, but it's better to cook it slowly, patiently, and wait for it than to burn it. Because once you burn it, then, you, then you're done. You might as well just uh, throw it away and start over. Because uh, that's the point where I've gotten to kind of a barbecue connoisseur. You know, I'm from Texas, right? So I like barbecue done a certain way. And I don't like, and if it's burnt, that's not right, right? So uh, have some pride in your barbecuing and don't burn it. Speaking of Texas, there's a good time to be a Texas fan. Uh, University of Texas, Austin, we got, we got our Longhorns in the College World Series, right? So I'm keeping up with that. And we're at number two seed. We're the highest seed in the College World Series right now. So there's a game coming up. So hook them horns. All right. So this is almost cooked. So you get the drift of this. And um, that concludes another edition of Let's Cook with Carlo. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hook them.